Nothing to declare. Big City Port was bustling as usual. Warrior was busy with Lord Stinker cleaning up the rubbish, and Big Mac was unloading a cargo freighter. Captain Star, the owner of the Star Pier, was giving orders and keeping an eye on everyone in the harbour. Keep to it, Star Tugs. Blue knows the naval tug is coming at midday to check we're all present and correct. Oh no, not that pompous blue nose, complained Top Hat. Why is he coming? It's a security check, see, said OJ. Two top secret Navy vessels are being docked here for a couple of days, so he's got to do an inspection before they arrive. OJ always knew what was going on. Out in the estuary, the customs launch saw a scruffy old freighter he recognised. An old enemy. Ahoy there, Johnny Cuba, said the launch sternly. I'm coming aboard. Just a routine search. Johnny Cuba was notorious for his smuggling, and customs kept a close watch on him. Go ahead. I've got nothing to declare. You always say that, muttered the customs launch as he came alongside. But the launch could find nothing wrong. So tell your friends I can have a tow, right? sneered Johnny. And make it snappy. I get fit up stuck here for hours. The launch noticed Sunshine nearby. Can you give Johnny a tow, Sunshine? Yeah, that's a bit tricky. We're all busy preparing for Blue Nose's inspection before those new ships arrive. Yes, yes, interrupted the launch crossly. The whole operation was top secret, and now Sunshine had given it away. Johnny grinned slyly at this news. <laughs> I suppose you thought you'd find spies on board when you searched me, he said sniggering. The launch glared at Sunshine and turned sharply back towards the harbour. Johnny turned to face Sunshine. Now, if you want to keep your stack intact, don't forget to tell your little pals about my toe. Sunshine was not going to be bullied. You'll get a tour when one of us is free and not before, he said defiantly, and set off for the star pier. Soon, Johnny saw Big Mac coming towards him. You took your time, said Johnny rudely. Get me towed in right now. I'm on another job, grunted Big Mac. One of the others will be here soon. Johnny scowled. Later, O.J. came puffing and wheezing up the estuary. With all the extra work, he was tired and hot. Come on, old timer, called Johnny. Or would you like me to give you a tow? <laughs> ah, I haven't got time for your stupid jokes, snapped O.J. Then ten cents went by. Sunshine told me you need a tow. I'll be back in a few minutes when I finish this delivery, he called. Oh, don't worry about me, mate, said Johnny. I'm just watching myself go rusty. Bunch of goody-goodies, he muttered. Maybe the Z-Stacks will be more useful. So when Zip appeared, Johnny yelled, Oi, you there, give me a tow. I'm, um, uh, I'm t too busy, Johnny. Uh, uh, ask Zoran, said Zip in a frightened voice. Johnny watched Zip move out of sight. Oi, give up, he said. I could be here all day. I might as well get me some sleep. He dozed off. As he slept, a long grey craft appeared on the horizon, heading towards Big City Port. A sudden noise made Johnny wake up. I suppose that's Blue Nose. Hey, what's that? He said, catching sight of the strange shape approaching. As he watched, it disappeared, leaving only bubbles on the surface of the water. A submarine. But what was it doing on its way to the harbour? Johnny frowned. Blue Nose's inspection was in preparation for top-secret Navy vessels. Perhaps the sub was to let everyone know the ships were on their way. But Johnny couldn't understand why it had suddenly disappeared. He stared at where the sub had been. You'd never guess there'd been anything there at all. Then Johnny realised. It's a spy. Someone wants to know what these new ships are like, so they sent in a spy. And with the customs launch and Blue Nose an inspection, there's no one to stop it. Except me. In those days, only large liners like the Duchess had radios, so Johnny couldn't tell anyone else what was going on. Patiently, he waited for the sub to resurface. Meanwhile, in the harbour, Blue Nose was about to begin his inspection. These new ships are most, I said most important. Top security is vital. Absolutely tip-top. Discipline. That's what the Navy is used to, and that's what we expect. Yes, yes Blue Nose, of course. Of course. Sighed Captain Star. Blue Nose made a thorough inspection. 
He looked inside every warehouse, checked all the barges, and even wanted to have Warrior searched. Blinking cheek, said Warrior. Eventually, Blue Nose was satisfied. The customs launch got away as soon as he could. Back in the estuary, the submarine had reappeared, and Johnny seized his chance. He revved up his engines and rammed the sub as hard as he could, driving it onto some sandbanks. Then the customs launch came past. Ahoy there, mate, called Johnny. Come and take a look here. This sub is a long way from home, and very interested in Blue Nose's ships, I reckon. A little later, Blue Nose steamed by. It's right, lady, he said when he saw the launch talking to Johnny Cuba. Keep those ne'er-do-wells under control. Bit of discipline, that's what they need. Make them toe the line. <laughs> Blue Nose laughed loudly at his own joke. Johnny and the custom launch grinned. I never thought I'd say it, but thanks, Johnny, said the launch. Blue Nose would never believe it, even if I told him. No problem, said Johnny. There's only room for one scoundrel round here. Me. Now, where is my toe? 